Ever wonder how the first missions in Borderlands would have gone down if it was a comic book and not a game? Welcome to the Fall of Firestone. Any alterations to the panel's text and images are to prevent copyright problems. We begin with a gun to Claptrap's head. Just before a bus runs over the bandit, we can't start with Claptrap dying. Our heroes get off of the bus and we get to meet Roland, who's commenting on the dump that they've stepped into, a Lilith who's commenting on the heat, Mordecai asking where the bar is, and Brick. Well, Brick doesn't say much. Hello, travelers! Welcome to Firestone! I'm CL4P-TP, but you may call me Claptrap. No one cares, and Roland asks Claptrap, what happened here? But before Claptrap can respond, Marcus steps out of the bus. I keep a few loaners under the bus. You'll need them here on Pandora, especially if you intend to find the vault. What's in this vault? Lilith asks him. No one knows, because no one can find it. Even if you did find it, which is a very big if. How would you even know how to open it? Marcus asks them. I'd punch it open, Brick says. But what if it's not a door? Marcus asks. You're not a door! Let's just see what's going on in the town over there, Roland tells the group. Uh, guys? Claptrap interrupts. What? Everyone shouts. Bandit menace! Everyone grabs the loner guns and their first firefight begins. While everyone takes cover and begins to return fire, Lilith phases out of existence with her siren powers and then jumps through the gunner, breaking his sternum. It's just the shocking development that they need to shock the bandits so that they can all open fire and begin to kill the bandits one at a time. During the entire event, Claptrap is just hiding, repeating, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. Once it's all said and done, they head into the town to discover it's nothing more than a ghost town. And Marcus explains, this town used to be a bustling haven for vault hunters, but as time went on, the bandit Nine Toes began his terrorist attacks and the vault hunters left. If you can get our town back from the bandit scum, I'll provide you with some guns so you can find the vault. So Roland turns to Mordecai. What do you think? And Mordecai replies with, I think we need to get off of this rock as fast as possible. Meanwhile, Lilith is sitting on the rocks nearby, trying to get her loner gun to work, and the clip just kind of falls out hitting the ground. That's not supposed to happen. Claptrap and Brick are on the ridge burying the bodies of the bandits, and Claptrap decides to make a little small talk with Brick. Are you a crazy person? Nope. Do you want to be best friends? Nope. What planet are you from? Nope. How about now? Do you want to be best friends now? Nope. So Marcus sends our heroes on their way, and they go to the home of TK Baja for a ride. After a misunderstanding in which he almost shoots Lilith, but she phases allowing Roland to get shot, all the while Brick and Mordecai laughing at Roland, he explains that he used to be a farmer with his wife. It was a simple life in which having a dinner soup and an after dinner soup was the best of days. Two soup days, as he called them. One day, a monster skag named Scar killed his wife. So he took her family's sword and he cut off the beast's leg. But then, it took the sword and it tore off his own leg, and then it ripped out his eyes, leaving him there to bleed out. But TK was a fighter, and he dragged his wife's poor body back to the cabin. If you kill Scar, I'll give you a ride. They all travel out into the valley where Lilith comes up with a plan. Brick will distract the monster, and if that fails, he's supposed to punch it. Mordecai will climb up onto a perch where he'll snipe it, and Roland and Lilith will shoot it up. Brick jumps down and runs straight at the monster so that he can just punch it, because the whole running away thing seemed kind of weak to him. While Lilith and Roland begin to shoot it up. Mordecai, on the other hand, isn't a bird as he puts it, and he can't even seem to climb fast enough. So he gives up shouting, should have brought the bird, and he leaps onto Scar's head, stabbing it with his blade. Lilith finishes off the beast and they all return to TK victorious. And TK is ecstatic and shouts, it's a two soup day! TK sends them to Scooter to get the ride, so Mordecai, Roland, and Brick all stick around to work out the deal, while Lilith decides to head out to the road to just look at things with Claptrap joining her. Can I ask you something, Lilith? Sure, go ahead. Am I annoying, Claptrap asks curiously. I don't know, maybe? Lilith replies, trying to be nice. It's hard for me sometimes, Claptrap says to her. What do you mean, she asks. There used to be vault hunters all the time, people coming from all over to find the vault, but it wasn't Claptrap's job to welcome them. It was Tate's job. Marcus hired her to help the vault hunters get settled in. She was his friend. Then Nine Toes one day sent in a fake bus, and it blew up injuring her and putting her into a local clinic. She went into a coma, and eventually they had to move her to New Haven. So Claptrap went out to welcome the vault hunters. He needed to do it. Tate would have wanted him to. But Tate didn't wake up the day after, and two months later she still hadn't woken up. And after a while, no one came to Firestone anymore. But Claptrap was out there every day just in case to welcome people. 
And that's when you guys showed up, he says, turning to Lilith. That's why I'm so excited to see actual Vault Hunters again. It's enough to make a wee automaton want to dance. Please don't dance, Lilith tells him. Hey, check us out, we dancing! Claptrap says, all happy. We don't dance, Lilith tells him. Oh, that's okay. It's just dancing used to be my favorite thing to do with Tate. So Lilith sighs, and she begins to dance with Claptrap. With a car, guns, and no plan, the Vault Hunters head off to end this finally and take out Ninetoes. On the way there, a single bandit car begins to chase them. So Brick turns to everyone. Floor it. And then he shouts, Handbrake! And with that, the car stops short as he leaps off of it and into the windshield of the bandit's car, kicking them both in the face before rolling around on the ground. Good plan, good night, he says as he passes out. That was his plan? Mordecai asks. That was his plan. And Lilith joins in with, he had a plan? They put Brick into the back of the car and they go to the cave entrance where Nine Toes stays. Since Brick is unconscious, they choose to drag him in with them. Three Vault Hunters and one unconscious meathead should be enough to kill one bandit named Nine Toes. Except as they walk into the cave and see Nine Toes, he informs them that they've walked into a minefield. And it's a miracle that they haven't blown up already. So they all kneel down as Brick wakes up. Now would be a good time to tell us the next part of your plan, Brick, Roland tells him. We now go to Claptrap, all the way back at the bus. If you're just now joining us, fair reader, our Vault Hunters have found themselves in a precarious position as they've infiltrated Ninetoes' hideout. They found themselves in a minefield! Marcus hears the word minefield and he comes running over. Oh my god, they're standing in a minefield right now? Ignoring the fact that you're not talking to anyone, how do you know that they're in danger? Oh, I put a transmitter in Mordecai's ponytail, Claptrap informs him. Back in the cave, Ninetoes reveals the next part of his plan. He has Bloodwing, Mordecai's pet bird, captive. So no pet birds are about to bring all the extra guns to our heroes. So Marcus and Claptrap get onto the bus and they speed off to save the Vault Hunters. Hang on tight, little buddy, Marcus tells him, and Claptrap just replies with, I don't have any fingers! This is a design flaw! Just as the Vault Hunters are preparing to die, Marcus comes crashing through the wall with the bus running into Nine Toes. No fingers! Claptrap shouts as he goes through the windshield and he ends up over by the birdcage holding Bloodwing. He quickly gets up and breaks the cage open. So Bloodwing takes off, grabbing the bag of guns and carrying it over to our Vault Hunters, but since it's open, he drops them on the ground as they're going, blowing up various mines. He does eventually get the guns to the heroes though, and with guns in their hands, the Vault Hunters begin to open fire on Nine Toes and his pets. Realize he's about to be shot, Ninetoes grabs Claptrap and holds him hostage. So Lilith approaches him. Calm down, we can still talk this out. And then she phases out, allowing Roland to throw a knife through her and into Ninetoes' skull, ending this mission. Our Vault Hunters rewards are brand new guns for Marcus and the information that their next stop will be New Haven, where they'll find Tannis, because she knows more about the Vault than anybody on Pandora. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There is another book that comes after this. It's Tannis in the Vault, and we will be doing it. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, at Eligible Monster, and I will see you guys next time, right here at the Eligible Monster channel.